right, here we go. So this is our air cylinder, which allows us to breathe underwater. We have a first stage regulator, and then on the front, we have the primary regulator, and that's what we'll breathe out of. So then we have a, uh, an inflator hose, and this allows us to put air in our BC, which allows us to float. So if we push this little button, you can hear and feel how air comes in. And the big button lets air out. And this is kind of the brains of the system. And this is a, this is a computer that tells us everything we need to know. As we get into the water, it will activate. It'll tell us our dive time. It'll tell us our dive depth. It'll tell us how much air we have and it'll tell us the direction, we'll have a compass. So everything we need to know. Okay, first we have our mask on so we can see. We have our regulator in so we can breathe. Regulator in. We have air in our buoyancy control device so we can float. Okay, then we're gonna take our right hand and hold it just like that to hold our regulator in place and our mask in place. We're gonna look to the horizon as if we're in Mexico. Lift your right leg up and take a step out. Let's get wet. As we get to the bottom, the skills will work on, so we'll, flip, we'll, we'll push this button to let air out so we can go negatively buoyant. When we get to the bottom, we're going to work on two skills, a regulator retrieval. We want to do that in case the regulator gets knocked out of our mouth for any reason while we're underwater. We want to learn how to, what to do with it in that situation. The number one water safety rule is never swim or dive alone. The number two safety rule in scuba is never hold your breath. So if the regulator gets knocked out of your mouth, you always want a steady, steady stream of bubbles. The second skill we'll work on is clearing your mask. Because you go down there to see the cool fish and the cool reef, and if your mask fogs up, or if for some reason your mask gets knocked off, we don't want you to panic. We want you to know how to be safe and in control. So that's a very simple skill. We'll put water in it. You breathe in through the regulator. Slight amount of pressure on the top of the mask. Tilt your head back. Exhale through your nose. Head back down. So in through, the, in through your mouth out through your nose, the water will come out and your regulator will be, and your mask will be clear. There's two reasons we have a 14 foot pool. One is pressure, right? So when you go down, we're gonna equalize our ears because as you go down, the pressure of the water is gonna put pressure on the air spaces. And it's like if you're diving to the bottom of the pool, your ears, you have to pop them or equalize them. So we're gonna work on that. And then the second, when you come up, the air expands. Okay, so buoyancy is, is really, really important from a safety standpoint and a comfort standpoint. The little button puts air in your BC, and the big button takes air out of the BC. And ideally, we always want to be neutrally buoyant so that we're in control and we don't bang into the reef. How did you do down there? You did great. It looked like you had fun. That was a good time. Did you? Yeah.